Here we will take a look at the relationship between the center of mass and the center of pressure. Here we will take a look at the relationship between the center of mass and the center of pressure. The center of mass is shown by the blue ball in the middle of the golfer, and the center of pressure is located at the base of the yellow combined ground reaction force arrow. When someone stands still, you can see that the center of pressure will be directly beneath the center of mass. As you see here, the golfer was asked to slowly shift his body from side to side. When movements are slow, like this, the center of mass and the center of pressure move together pretty well. They separate a little bit as the golfer starts and finishes each shift, but otherwise, the center of pressure basically stays under the center of mass. In the second example, the golfer was asked to quickly shift how much he was pressing down with each foot, but not let the rest of his body shift from side to side. In this case, you can see that the center of pressure moves rapidly from side to side, but the center of mass stays nearly stationary. In dynamic movements like this example and the golf swing, the center of mass and center of pressure very much can move separately. During the golf swing, a golfer can independently control them both. And using them both correctly not only helps the golfer position his body properly, it also plays an important role in creating good club speed.